Hello, hello, hello. So I am doing my foot bath and I think it's important to share this with people because I never thought it was, it was a treat to do my feet until one day I went against my religion and my firm beliefs. I to do with religion. Uh, my friend used to buy stuff in, in uh, Salvation Army. He said, I don't know, but they need stuff, new stuff. And it kind of like rubbed off on me and he convinced me it's not such a bad idea. So I went and I tried on some shoes and I got the biggest infection of my life. This was back in 2020, it's 2024. I'm not yet 100% rid of it, but it's taken me this long to to be halfway there. Or at least three quarters, maybe, maybe three quarters there. Um, I never had to take care of my feet, but coincidentally, I have to start using, you know, the blade and using all these baths. I want to show you what I'm using. I use Borax. You see the blue one, baking soda and this foot therapy. And I didn't put lemon in it, but next time I'll just do baking soda alone. You see the blue one with lemon. Uh, this time because I put Borax. Borax is good. You could take a pinch of it internally uh, to get rid of parasites. Um, I do it all the time. It does not harm me. Um, I started using it in my laundry because I have not used soap in my laundry for about 12 years. I use uh, bowls that have uh, ceramic little tiny beads in it. And uh, I think one of them has magnets in it, which attracts the dirt. And it's always done a great job. My clothes never ever smell. So I've been doing it for about 12 years. And I actually replenished the beads. But I decided I'm gonna start putting borax and baking soda. And sometimes I put lemon in it too. Uh, or I alternate, right? Uh, my wash never has all those chemicals that are in the regular detergent, uh, you know, uh, for, for clothes, never. So I'm here rubbing my feet. I'm gonna show you why, because I have a, a massager at the bottom, a roller, and uh, it's very good, sort of like reflexology. Um, and it'll probably treat everything up and down my spine. And also the stuff I put in this water. I'm gonna actually wash my deck with it because I usually throw it out. But this has plenty of suds and you know what? I got plenty of germs on my deck. I don't have to be misplaced. So I'm going to scrub my deck after this. So kill many birds with one stone. Um, it never does foams like this and that's why I'm tempted. It's the first time I put borax in here. But my feet looked really yucky earlier and I wore my slippers and I didn't, sometimes I don't want to look at my feet, right, frankly, before I leave in the house. I should, because about every three weeks, they do get ugly. And um, it, in all honesty, seriously, seriously, I know I'm old, but in all honesty, it really kicked in when I got an infection from trying on shoes uh, in, in Salvation Army. Somebody had it real bad, and they, they those were their shoes. They should have thrown those shoes out uh, because those germs, whatever it was, even my doctor didn't know what it was. He gave me some kind of medication, but I tossed it. I used it once, and I'm like, I'm not putting this this petroleum in it because everything with meds, from what I see, has has toxins and chemicals and stuff that I don't care for. But you see how much fun this is? This is a lot of fun. And um, I was never somebody who really cared for foot baths or, or massages. or I know a lot of men are into the feet and everything, but this is really dynamite uh the water is not as hot as i wanted to but just the massage itself you see it's got bubbles see i could turn this off let me turn this off oh it goes up higher wait a minute is it not working oh it just gets stronger wait a minute <laughs> this picture here let me turn off the bowls okay Okay, so the bubbles are gone, and now just the jets are. Now the jets don't want to go off. This is really weird. I hope it's not broken. Okay, it's not broken for some odd reason. I guess I was slipping and sliding. This is, as you can see, a Conair bubbles bath. Bubbles and heat. Oh, it says heat. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't know if I've ever, if I've ever experienced the heat. I don't think so. I always bring, fill it up with hot water anyway. I do feel heat in the bottom, 
but it's never going to be that much heat where the water warms up. This is, this is a dream for anybody who loves to treat their feet. A dream. It's got all the components. You see at the bottom, you see this, these rollers right here where my toe's touching? You roll on it and you really can't see it. But you could kind of see it slightly, right? It's sort of like this part over here. It, it helps you massage your feet. And, you know, like you're massaging your whole spine, your whole body when you do this. And um, it actually leaves my feet pretty nice. Um, I just finished, you know, kind of like scrubbing them. Like, uh, I don't know if you know what I mean. Kind of like taking out whatever dry spots it has. And so, this really works really good. Oh my goodness. And then you have other massages right here. Okay, so I could actually replace this. So first let me do a little bit more of this. A little bit more over here. I mean, I may or may not be doing it right, but the slipping and sliding because I got borax in here. Gave it a little bit of a boost. Okay, so now I'm going to put this away here. And I'm going to put this one here. And I'm going to do the same. Because you never know, right? It's like... And it says, I have four eggs. It's nice and slippery and slide. Sli slippery and slight, whatever. Um... The borax helps because usually I don't use borax and it's not this slippery. So this actually makes it a lot better.